Hey, how's it going my friend? My name is James Rittenhouse and in today's video we're going to be talking about on the grand law of responsibility, interpreting responsibility as a privilege. Now this video is going to be, is the first part of a larger video series called On the Simple Science of Invincibility. So this is the very first video and today we're just going to be talking about responsibility and why it's important to be able to exercise responsibility and to have that quality of responsibility in you, especially if you want to become an invincible person so now here's the thing we all have the ability to control the experience of our life like believe it or not granted there's a lot of random things that can happen to us in our lives like we can just step out the street and somebody can just walk up to us and like shout some name at us or we could be driving down the road and like god forbid somebody might just rear end us out of nowhere and stuff and now what next thing you know you're exchanging insurance information with some random person in the world i mean there's a lot of random things that can happen to us but even despite all the randomness that we're that we're faced up against we can still control the experience on our life and the only way we can control the experience of our life is by taking responsibility and really what that means is you want to become more active and more positive in your life now what do i mean by active pretty much when i say you want to be more active in your life is you don't want to kind of like just kind of sit back and just let things happen to you like you don't want to just kind of like recline back kick your feet up and just hope good things are going to happen you want to be going out and like taking an active role like in the world and stuff and being positive um really just goes hand in hand with being active because being positive allows you to see things in such a way where it's to your benefit where even in a situation where it may be unpleasant such as you know for example you get late you're, you're late to work let's say right like you're you're making your way to work and you end up being late well maybe you can look at that as as instead of that something being like necessarily bad that can just be like some type of motivation to make sure that you set your alarm earlier and you don't wake up late again in the future that could be like the extra bit of motivation so when you're an active person and you're positive at the same time it really allows you to take control of the experience of your life and finally your internal perspectives and your external observation begins to shift so in other words like how you um process things on the inside like your your thinking patterns it begins to shift once you decide to take responsibility and just like i was saying previously your, your external observations instead of noticing problems you notice opportunities you notice possibilities you notice how you can gain an advantage or find something positive out of any situation that life throws at you now i want you to instead of like now we've been to, i know we talk a lot about the positives as far as like take responsibility for life and maybe you're not you may not be 100 percent sold on it yet so let's take let's look at things on the, on the reverse side and what happens if you're unable to take control of the experience of your life and first of all if you're unable to take control of the experience of your life you're probably going to feel like very stressed out like imagine just like you see like that first guy like how he just has his head down he looks like he has the weight of the world on his shoulders and that's really like what you feel like when you're unable to take control of the experience of your life like you're just a very stressed out individual also frustration is another um key characteristics when you're unable to can take control of things because things for one reason or another just don't go your way like there's just constantly roadblocks happening obstacles just that seem insurmountable because you're unable to take control and finally despair like once you're dealing with, a, with enough stress and frustration it's only a matter of time when you're just going to feel despair where you're just going to start feeling hopeless and this could very well lead on to depression and perhaps even taking even a very negative turn where you start becoming addicted to drugs and i don't want to paint a negative picture or anything like that but when you don't take responsibility when you just allow yourself to be um subject to whatever life throws at you these are the type of um ex uh, feelings that you're going to experience so even like if you're in a situation right like where it seems like you don't have any control whatsoever as far as being able to change it there's always one thing that's always within your within your ability to change and that's how the way then that's just the way you look at things like just like how i was saying before you can look at a situation and find some way to reap some positive out of it maybe it could be a lesson learned maybe it could be motivation to do better the next time like 
it, there's always a way to like look at things in a way to gain an advantage from it like it's not natural like granted it's very easy to look at things from a very negative end as if the world's gonna end itself but if you really focus on training yourself to see things in a different perspective in a way where it's like it's beneficial to you and it can help you out in the long run i'm telling you it's going to be well worth the effort so that's all i have for you today guys i hope you got a lot of value out of this video so i really want to thank you for taking the time to watch this if you haven't already i want you to hit that subscribe button and also make sure you hit the bell icon as well so that way you'll be notified as soon as i drop the next video in the series the next video in the series is going to be titled on always striving for active awareness and this video is just going to build on the concept that we've been talking about here on the grand law of responsibility i really look forward to seeing you i really hope you guys um check that video out as soon as it drops once again this is james Randhouse. hope you guys got a lot of value and i will see you on the next video bye for now